Kyle from Scram Speed showing you guys how to install Ozite carpet in a car. Um, this car has a 25.3 roll cage. You might ask why I'm installing carpet on a 25.3 roll cage, and that would be due to classes requiring it um, and streetcar. So, um, had a lot of people ask me the other day when I posted a picture of it halfway done how I was getting it to look so good and the products I was using, the process I was using. So, I thought I'd just make a quick video showing you guys kind of what I used, how I got it there. Um, there are other videos online. I don't think any of them are that great. I didn't have a warm and fuzzy going into this about how it would turn out. I was really hesitant to put carpet in the car because the rest of the car is turning out so good. I didn't want to lay carpet inside of it and have it look like hell. So this is kind of the process of how I got it to turn out like I did. So here's how the floor turned out in the 25.3 roll cage on my 2000 Firebird. It, it laid out really well. Um, it took a lot of patience and the biggest trick that I kind of learned is to do it in pieces. I was trying to figure out a way to do it all in one and go under the bars and all that stuff, but there's there's no way to do it. Ozite, Ozite will stretch. It's called stretchy carpet, but it will not bend really all that well. So if you do it in pieces, it turns out a lot better and the seams aren't too bad. Um, the easiest one to tell is I did the I did the driver's side in three small pieces and and because I have bars on the floor, you really can't tell where I seamed them at, but the spots that you can tell would be like the the center of the tunnel so you can see I seamed it there but there's going to be a you know a center console piece on top so you can't really see that um, but I kept all the seams hidden they're gonna be underneath the driver's seat I went underneath this bar here there's a seam there there's actually a seam right here under this bar and then there's also a seam under this bar but because I did it in small pieces I was able to lay it down and go over this hump here really tight and make it look good so that way when you're standing here looking in the car you see the driver's seat sitting there you'll be able to see down there that it's not just a bunch of rolled over carpet just laying in there it looks like hell so a little bit of patience you know i mean i had i had honestly probably eight or ten hours in installing this carpet it wasn't fast and easy but there are some tips and tricks to making it really you know simple to do and easy to work with and one of the biggest ones was what kind of glue I use, and I use DAP glue. It's uh, I'll show you here in a minute, but it was uh, it was like contact cement that I actually rolled on with a brush. That's how I did it. I didn't use the spray glue. I've used spray glue in the past on Ozite, and it turned out like hell. I think I, I think I did it too light maybe, um, but it just sprays, you know, like snot coming out of a can, and looks horrible. And I didn't want to get overspray all over my you know freshly done interior with my freshly painted roll cage i wasn't going to try to mask off shit and then go through it and in an attempt to not get overspray on all sorts of pieces so i decided to just use a roller and a brush to actually install the glue but it turned out you know really pretty well the back hatch area i did in two pieces you can kind of see where the seam is around the trans tunnel so you see i did the back section all in one piece, so it's kind of a U-shape. And then I did the center as one in itself. And, and I knew from the get-go when I laid it in there to try to stretch it out that I was gonna have a big issue getting in those deep wells in the back of an F body. And I didn't want it to look like, you know, there was a big air pocket down there or anything. We are gonna take this car on drag week and there will be a bunch of crap stored in the back of this thing. Luggage, you know, all, all sorts of stuff. So if it was down, if it was down there that we had an air pocket, when you put something in there, it would pull the carpet from the side if it wasn't, you know, secured good or something to eventually try to tear up or stretch it to the point where it would, you know, fade. I didn't want to have any issues with that. So that's kind of how I do that to show you a real easy way. Um, the products that I use, I had lay over here on the table. Um, it didn't take too much. This is one of those projects that takes a lot of patience and time, not a lot of money. So this was everything I used. Uh, the adhesive that I was talking about is this stuff right here. It's DAP Wellwood Contact Cement. Um, I think you can get it from any hardware store, Home Depot, you know, whatever. It's like 10 bucks a can, super cheap. And it does allow you to roll it on. I used a roller and foam brushes to put it on, but you can roll it on. Um, not too thick, you know, reasonably thick, but once you get it on there, you've got a solid, you know, three to five minutes by the time you put it on there to the time the carpet needs to kind of be applied. It doesn't really tack up for about 10 minutes so you do have some time before you'll have the carpet stick to where you can't pull it up and reposition it so it does give you a decent amount of time and i did all of my roll cage with uh or all my floor with the roll cage in it in pieces so i never had one humongous 
piece to go inside the bottom of the floor. Um, if you did have that, then spray glue might be easier just because you can cover such a large area, but it, it just sprays like hell and I just, I'm not a fan of this stuff. I bought a can of it just in case I needed it, but that is getting returned. I'm not a big fan of spray glue. So I bought a pack of rollers. I went through almost all of them. Simple, cheap, just normal rollers with a roller brush and then foam brushes. Um, that contact cement will ruin a foam brush, so it's kind of a one and done deal. I went through about 10 foam brushes. Each time you use it and you stop, you gotta do a new brush or the adhesive that actually holds a stick and will pull out. Um, I had some magnets that just helped me position the carpet so that way if I didn't want an area to move, I could put a magnet or two down and stretch it out. Um, the best the best tool you have to have for doing this install is definitely a good pair of scissors. You need a pair of fabric scissors that can cut really good. That's going to make a difference to whether your lines are going to be straight or crooked or frayed. So get a good pair of scissors and you need a roller to get into those you know, creases and actually roll it in there after it starts to tack up. You won't be able to do it within the first five or ten minutes of installing the carpet. So don't install it and then just walk away and assume that piece is done. You got to come back to it after you know about 10, 15 minutes and then take that roller and roll all the seams and the spots where there's a there's a molded you know rib in the floor or something or, or an area that didn't quite stretch right for you take that and roll it and it will it will be more tacked up and it'll adhese really good and and that'll save you some time um, trying to do it you know all in one motion you just kind of get in there set good wait you know 10 15 minutes and then go in there with a roller and roll it over really really well um, nice sharp razor blades a big ruler this is the carpet it's uh, it's just your standard Ozite. That's that's what it goes by. It's its street name. Um, your auto trim is where I got it at. I'll put a link, maybe down below the video. But just your auto trim. It comes in an 80 inch roll. It's a really really big roll. This is actually only 40 inches wide because it's a double roll. But I ordered eight yards to do the Formula Firebird that I got. I only needed about three to do what I did. But it was really cheap. I think it's like 19 bucks a yard is what it comes in. So. I ordered 24 foot and and I only ended up using about 10 so but yeah that's that's how it turned out those are the tools I used this is the car I did it in um, if you got any questions let me know